Welcome back to Shantae Risky's Revenge. We are now at the desert. <laughs> the barren desert? desert. Yep. Man, those are some pretty amazing murder balls. <laughs> Aren't they, though? Who knew that Shantae would like to swing balls around so much? <laughs> the clothing wasn't a giveaway. <laughs> I know I'm sick, but come, come on. <laughs> This is our special LP, don't you know? <laughs> man, oh man, look at those balls go. <laughs> oh. Well, if you guys are gonna come out of the closet, could you pick we seems, like they've, seems like they've got a good amount of weight to them. <laughs> if you guys were gonna come out, why didn't you wait for something a little less... obvious? Ouch. Now, hold on, I just got here. How come I'm coming out of the closet already? I wanted more time! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was about to say. I figured we'd wait for all the ball jokes to be made during a leisure suit Larry played. Did that? Whoa, 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 no, whoa. No, that this... chick just like fall and in, disintegrate into the ground, something? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Man, that doesn't look like a shortcut back up there at all. Clearly. We'll be backtracking. As we've said before, that's foolish. <laughs> Clearly not a lucrative endeavor. Thinking we need to go this way. Yes, we do. More questions. How come there's like three different floors of leaking, but you're not just drowning when you get to the bottom? No oh, idea. Because no. it's just. But hey, look, magic jam. Jam, yo. <laughs> and now we uh, we are meeting the Ammo Baron. That is a goofy looking hat. Um, it looks okay, so I can't can't unsee it. it. So He's happy, got a butt though. chin and a single eye. Yep. <laughs> Does anybody else not see that? Yeah, I, I see the butt chin. I see it. All it's play not as prominent now. as Captain Quark, though. See. Hold up, girly girl. Well, that's not redundant. Even if you say no, he'll just take it away from you anyway, so... My question is, why do they add in decisions like this? Because they want to give you the power of control, the even though you don't have it. The illusion of control. Yeah. That one. How dare you use big words. <laughs> Same way the government confuses you. Ouch. Alright, I'm gonna read his voice and, uh... Oh. I think he's all done with, uh... I didn't get to say it like Hercule. Let me make sure we're talking about the same Hercule here. Oh, there he is. It's fucking Dragon Ball Z, right? Yes. That Hercule. Okay. It's your town, new name! New mayor, new name! But don't worry, so that's your Miguel! I probably read that wrong. And I'm your yeah. official lordship! We even got a splish splash, bitch! The last time I heard Hercule's voice was in a crossover. One Piece, Torioko, and Dragon Ball Z. Really? That I've never heard of that. <coughs> was an interesting movie. I just remember uh, Budokai on the GameCube where every time he attacks he goes, Megaton Clash Attack! <laughs> <laughs> I love that attack, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, music good, out though. here is very nice. Yeah, <laughs> the music is very fitting, except for caves. I hate the cave music. So we got the passport that we need to take to the Ammo Baron Tower. I think that's what it's called. Yes. Please. Health. Those bats look like they were stolen right out of Mega Man. Huh? The bats right there, they look like the bubble bats from Mega Man. Yeah. Uh, these mummies. It's an odd cool. coincidence. Shit. And this entire gameplay looks like a Metroidvania. 
First things are just breaking the bones and disintegrating, and then we get mummies who, you know, are supposed to be all decayed and stuff on the inside, and they just fucking outright explode. <laughs> <laughs> It's probably the magic that's even an animated like, uh, overloading. And then, like, Shantae just explodes on the spot every time she dies. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> this was Michael... This was Michael Bay's... Yeah. This yeah. is As Michael Gary Bay's... For a sandwich. Yeah. Alright. So we are essentially at the second dungeon. This gauntlet that was is our second Hold dungeon, on. yep. This guy's got two eyes, and no butt chin. <laughs> he does have one serious, uh, mustache going on there, though. Yep. That's a bitchin' stash. Fair, the ammo baron probably has some really damn you good sure aim. You ready? Okay, you're ret to go. Knock him dead. So this is a gauntlet. And this is one perfect way to grind money on. So, if you're low on funds, come in here. Grind for money. Wait, you're telling me there's a place I can go where I can just kill things instead of having to, like, do my office job to make money? Where Pretty is Pretty much. This? It's in Sequin Land, don't you know? Gotta go to the... <laughs> Gotta go to the barren desert. And I have no problem wearing provocative clothing. I could totally do this for a living. <laughs> uh, no response. <laughs> so, no, but literally, the first time of going through this, we need our seal. This game doesn't tell you this, but if you go through it the second time, you get magic jam. So, no, essentially... No, if told you everything, it wouldn't be a Metroidvania game. Mm -hmm. Correct. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what the hell? I'll say that is the second most <laughs> fatal death for a video game that I've ever seen. The first one's still definitely Mega not Man even X. Com <laughs> Mega not even Man X. Combat. It still has to Sorry. go to it has to go to Castlevania with the uh, with the blood. Um, what was it? Blood zombies. Because oh, you break yes. them in half, they scream, and then they just spurt blood everywhere. And oh, it's you're awesome, talking about bloodlines. No, I'm talking yeah. about, um, well, it might be in Bloodlines, but I saw it first in, um, uh, Symphony of the Night. Oh, yeah, that too. I don't remember its name, but Castlevania for DS gives you a big freaking laser. It's dead. Ah, Gurga. It's gruesome. You know, every time you kill one of those mummies, it's like a Mega Man X boss dying. <laughs> like exploding an unnecessary amount of times. They just like continue exploding. It's like, what? Did you destroy a fucking nuclear fusion reactor within the fucker and created some fallout? What's going on here? Well, it could uh, be like a Phantom of Mega Man Zero fame. Oh, yeah, no, it's pretty much how it is. I hate these. Well, Phantom at least detonated way. himself intentionally. Oh, right, to take yeah, him, I remember the him. first time. The first, Phantom was actually a really hard fight in that game. Like, if you were not very, very good at Mega Man Zero, Phantom was a really hard fight. When yeah. I was a kid, I remember I finally killed him. I finally managed to kill him. And then he blew up on me and I died. <laughs> yeah. So I had to fight him all over again. I was pretty pissed off. <laughs> did like, you use the trident or did you use the sword? Uh, I believe you I only had the sword the in that game. No, Mega Man Zero, you got a trident, shield boomerang, yeah. blaster... Shield boomerang, Let's most see. useless weapon ever. It doesn't matter, I maxed it. It was just like, it's a weapon and I'm eventually gonna find a use for it. And I <laughs> didn't. <laughs> yeah, it got better in other, in other games, I think. I wanted to be Proto Man, no one could stop me. It doesn't matter if I didn't do it very well. I don't know, I think my favorite Proto Man, we are totally off topic, but I think my uh, my favorite Proto Man-esque thing uh, in any Mega Man game was getting... <clears throat> well, basically, a bit of backstory. Uh, me and my friends, like, loved Mega Man. Absolutely obsessed with it. And, uh... 
you know, back in the day, Mega Man Battle Network came out. I didn't really think much into the series until 4 came out, and that's when I really, really, really got into it. In my opinion, 4 was probably one of the best. So, my friend got a Red Sun, so I was like, oh, you have Red Sun? I'll get Blue Moon. That way we don't have, like, the same stuff. Kind of wish I'd gotten Red Sun. Red Sun has Search Soul, which was the most overpowering, over-fucking power <laughs> Soul Cross ever. Yep. Being able to, like, whack people for 50 damage at homes, no matter what. Pretty overpowered. One of the shortest uh, charges. Blue. Yeah, yeah, that guy's just the same. Means he's stronger. Yep. Yeah, power swap means he's stronger. Anyways, but anyway, in. um... Yeah, uh, so... So... Where was I? Yeah, so I got Blue Moon. And at first I was like, oh, this sucks. Like, you've got Surge Soul, it's so strong. And then I got Proto Soul, <laughs> and I got the joy of whacking him to death with one of- because he loved Proto Man. So I enjoyed many sessions of beating the crap out of him with an homage to his favorite character, <laughs> blocking all of his search hits with a shield. <laughs> Clever. I've got a uh, battle network right now, and I love the fact that you can go to the uh, go to the random shop collector, and if it's like this isn't the soul, this isn't the card you want. Oh, just restart. It's not gonna save your progress for that. Yeah. So I'm like level. I think I'm like into my third boss, and I've already got like his level three card, which is way overpowered. I think I even beat. One of the bosses with their own cards, just to be like, haha, broke your game. <laughs> and yeah. it's the end of the dungeon. This is some scantily clad statues. Like They're supposed to distract you. That's the difficulty of uh of dungeon yeah, now. Oh, much. we found the seal. Arr! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and we do a bit As of a we cut just... here because if you um well, after this uh, story plot here, but let's see what you found. Oh, it's a solid snake reference. What's that? A magic squeal? I thought the Ammo Baron only kept valuable treasures up there. Just junky junk. Dude, that's embarrassing. Tell you what, we've got other stuff up there too, like actual cash prices. Something worth something. This guy... This guy is not, not the brightest. No, no he's not. We got the forest key! <laughs> well... Ammo Don't town. say kiss to me unless you're actually giving me a kiss. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> I get it. Okay, kiss. <laughs> now you're just doing it again. Yep. We are ready. <coughs> I hope I I'm guessing you're cutting this. Yep. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know what this is. Scantily clad. We're in a Castlevania style game. This is grinding. Yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> grinding, yes. grinding, grinding. Technically, this could be our third seal, but you know, it's not. All right, so uh, you know what I, I did that reminded me of Chrono time. Trigger today. Hmm. You travel All the through dude's time. Lunch. Of course I travel through time. The entire Warlords of Drenor expansion is about going through time. Yeah. <laughs> Whoosh! So that damn Once again, box keeps where we could have just off course. beat up the bad guy and been done with the game. Well, on the reverse side of that, the villain could have just stolen everything from the hero and ended the game right there. She didn't have a plot cannon this time. <coughs> <laughs> nope. No, but she's got a plot shield. 